Hello everyone and welcome to the new video on the channel. Like a lot of you requested, today we are going to look at Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars is a really cool and unique game I would say, because it combines itself really cool designs for the PC game together with the board game. Wow, sounds cool enough? Right, a lot of you asked for it, so here comes the review for the Terraforming Mars. Before we start, I would like to ask you to check if you're subscribed to our channel, like this video, well, in the end if you're not gonna like it, you can dislike it, whatever, but at least show some support to us and drop in the comments which game you wanna see next on our channel. So let's start. Terraforming Mars is a giant of a game, an engineering building board game about competing players that stitching up the surface area and specializing their properties to create sprawling domino effect as you move towards the close of the game. It's a masterpiece in the board game design that accommodates a mass of different style styles depending on the player experience. A tough composition for terraformers to come up against even if terraforming Mars digital adoptions haven't been particularly well received. The game is designed like a super fun strategic single player board game, like I mentioned already, which avoids like border games that I don't like and I really don't appreciate them, but at the same time this one comes with a lot of really fun and cool features. It all starts with your first city and you're picking up your first leader. Each leader gives you the choice of the specific actions you can use in each turn, as well as having a specialization. The leader options cycle around randomly, however, you won't get the chance to have the same one back to back. And the opportunity to elect a new leader is often welcome, as once you're up to the, your second settlement and beyond you'll be spoiled by the choices, with what you can do in each turn. However, when it all starts, it's incredibly easy to go on. Each turn gives you a selection of projects to choose from. There are initially buildings that can be placed in your cities. However, after a short while you'll be able to get buildings that upgrade empty grinds on Mars. A larger projects with advanced colonies affords. Each of these projects has a cost associations with them. Meaning you'll ever clear your plan of your how you trade, gain resources or place building. In order to get the ball rolling on the resource creation. Terraformers is very much about careful placement, also, refreshingly, you can move buildings once they're placed. Placement is the key because most of early buildings only give limited resources, things like, let's say, food, power, population or drones, which allow you to expand and reach across the map. These things are essential in order to expand, and you'll very quickly gain the ability to place buildings that grant agency bonuses. Place a soil plant near a farm and you'll increase your resources gain. However, place it in an inscription between the three of them and you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Unlike most of the games that have the setting colonies, Earth is still around and it's willing to help. In fact, not only does it grant the civilian satellites early on, but it also steers your direction when it comes to the actual terraforming elements. Terraforming and creating livable environments and atmosphere is an end goal, but you'll need to map out the blend first. That's where you'll start spending most of your early and mid-game efforts. Scouting is different from claiming, and claiming is different from actually gathering resources from space. It might sound all super difficult for you now, but believe me, when you get into the game, it all becomes easy and kind of fun. You'll need to rein your ambitions too, because the further of the space is away, a functional city, the more expensive it is to interact with space. I watched a lot of really cool sci-fi movies in which a mission to Mars fails miserably. After choosing your commander in Terraformers, you must travel to Mars. You will explore Mars, you will locate rich resources, it will aid establishment the base of the Red Planet. You will be given several tasks to do in the game. These are the kinds of the horrors you expect in a strategy game. Find this, build that, fix this and so on population. Future fuel your explanation. Terraformers is all about the steady, balanced movement and it begs you to slow down and think what you're doing before you take an action. Even if there is no time or looming fail state, in this way it feels like a true solitaire city builder, and a great one that. This game is a ton of fun and has a lot of potential, as a lot of games are coming in in early access. I played around maybe 10 hours of the game and I've seen pretty much all of its early version of the game, how it offers and what you can do, well, and hopefully more things to come soon. I will occasionally play around, but to be honest, it lacks a little bit of difficulty adjustment and customization in early access. Drastically reduces the replayability for now. 
basically you can go in any in which way in this game in course of the development for the succeed in this scenario the key thing you need to do no matter what is focusing on expanding every new trade road every two three support here brings you the one step closer to winning it's all about as easy as it gets in the game much of what you accomplish in the game results in resources and how you use them well this is the last example i'm gonna give you well so for example you are first steps on the map you come across a location that is rich in resources you gain as many resources to build a base equipment and things you want to eventually have trees and other things people living close to it so basically how i said before you need to be very smart on how you build like in let's say a real life board games guys this been review for terraformers first steps on mars i really like the idea of this game this is few last words and I think the game has big future, big future, only if the developers will be so dedicated as how they are now. Few more missions, a little bit better playable playability, replayability and the game will become really great. Thank you everyone for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, drop a like, drop in the comments which next game you want us to review and that's it, I'll see you in the next one.